All right, we yo, go. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome to the Grinding is Fun Podcast. Grinding is Fun Podcast. You know me, CPA Strength. For what else other names do I got? I don't know, but this is Shine Dog. What are you going to go by? Shine Dog works. Shine Dog yeah. for now? Yeah, Shine Dog. I thought you were kind of embracing the Dirty G lately. Dirty G, yes, that's an old school. That's his old high school nickname. You, what, you guys know me. It's one of my oldest friends. Shine Dog from high, from middle school. We met in middle school. Long time ago. Thanks for having me on your Sunrise. podcast. Well, thanks for having me at your house. He invited me to his family's uh, house for Thanksgiving. It was great. And yeah, we're just going to do, we love grinding. We always talk on the phone. So I thought, man, we're going to get a podcast together. And then it's kind of just like phone conversations, but we'll be including you guys. So yeah. And you mentioned you want to do a podcast and I, I watch... You know Joe Rogan. Yeah. See you podcast and stuff. I thought, hey man, that'd be awesome. We, we watch all kinds of podcasts. Uh, out of the box, out of the box thinkers. So yeah, we're gonna have some fun. We just grinding twenty four seven. Always grinding, never enough. Look, we have CPA strength. We have our bobblehead here. Oh, look the autofocus on that. See, see, that's what I keep on talking about. Shine the autofocus there. Okay. Oh, on the it's the a little box. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put it on manual, so it's gonna get the whole thing here. Word, I always wanted to do that. Yo, 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 yo. Grind this fun podcast, CPA Strength Channel. So what else have we got here? Uh, yeah, this is going to be the podcasting center. This might be this might be CPA Strength headquarters. We just don't know. Let me, let me take these off here. Oh boy. The day after Black Friday. Yeah, day after Black Friday. We're dealing with first podcast. First podcast, and we just. I'm bachelor in it, so I'm learning. You got two, you got two, two beautiful kids two there. Two children. We got a four, four, <laughs> four year old daughter. <laughs> what eleven month old? Hellraiser. Hellraiser. She's an angel, but yeah, she he's a handful. So it was funny. Like, I, uh, if you're a bachelor, you don't know about this stuff. So we were coming back from Thanksgiving dinner, and. Uh, it's like a library in the car. Yeah, they're like, Shh, be quiet because they <laughs> want to get the kids to sleep. Because when the kids are asleep, then it's then we can uh, then we have our time and stuff. So, yeah, I was never so quiet in the car, never so quiet. What you? It's hard to get used to, you know. Once, once, you know, I feel bad for friends and people who are around, and we force them to be quiet. Like my dad was in town. Uh huh. He's like half deaf, so when he talks, it's like. Oh, that's right. He couldn't hear. He's a super loud talker, so. I feel bad about that, but that's all right. Kids will be older. I, th I was thinking, if you're going to be a new parent, you should you should like it should be a requirement to uh, spend the night at a, a parent's house or something, see what you're getting into, because you have no idea if you don't live this Stay life. Stay over for the weekend, and you'll realize that you might want to wait. I'm telling <laughs> you, I have no idea. Look at the bobblehead, Chi Chong so bobblehead. That's like kid life. So we'll get difference of opinions. I don't know if I'm getting hooked up again. I don't know if I'm settling down anytime soon. Shiner. I think there's there's good and both bad in both ways. You there know? sure is. You have freedom. You can do what you want. You know. There sure is. Oh well, um, Mr. Mr. Shine Dog owns his own restaurant there. I like we can talk about that because it's it's tough to get a restaurant going in Florida. I'm Keep in the it food going. Food distribution business. Yeah, it's a the food it's a distribution. Hustle. Yeah, I'm an engineer actually by trade, so I kind of look at it as like yeah. not so much a chef or a cook as a just a a food packager and relocator trying to take trying to take over uh the world one one plate at a time one sandwich at a time exactly yes yeah, five dollars at a time yeah you told me that before because i was grinding Dora was grinding we hadn't seen each other for a while and then we, we got back together probably what three uh like two years ago two I years think. ago after a break of uh yeah separate grinds october of 15 i think yes. i came came up here and visited and then the next trip, you you did a deadlift PR. Yeah, the next trip after that deadlift PR, there's a wall, uh, his record wall. Oh. Yeah, we got record walls over there. Uh, are you gonna get back to the lifting? You know, I hurt my shoulder, um, trying to get some of them stem cells from Joe Rogan. But uh, I think yeah, I'll go light and get you're, back into it. You're trying to get them currently, or you hurt your shoulder getting the stem cells? No, 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 no. Okay. I would love to. You're get trying something. to steal them from? Yeah, I'd like to get stem. No, they they can get them currently. Yeah, but. I know. He always talks about that now. What about the uh, TRT? Yeah, what about the TRTs on the TRT? <sighs> yeah, I'm I'm not. I don't know if I'm a fan of that so much as as far as just. It seems like one of those 
easy way out. So, so like just friends, people I talk to who are my age, they they want to do it. Uh, it's more just like they feel it's like a magic pill or something. Yeah, I feel like you're as old as you feel, so it just it, it helps you out with your with your body produces it, but not as much and anymore. Yeah, definitely with the recovery and all that. Yeah, when I'm when I'm sore now at forty, I'm I'm more sore than I thought right. I used to be. You deflected. What I've actually been doing. He's yoga. a master deflector. You guys might see. Uh, <laughs> are you gonna? Yoga lately. Are you? Oh, he does, has he yeah, has done yoga. I need to get into yoga. Full body is sore. I'll tell you, CPA strength. It might not sound very. No, I want to get into yoga. Interesting, but yoga is uh, I want it's to, tougher than you would. Think. I want to do a downward dog with those yoga ladies. <laughs> That's what CPA I'd say likes. the starfish is a good place to start, and uh, I usually end up with a starfish. Yeah. Oh, uh, whoa! Hey, JDM him. Yeah, please. Wait, is J <laughs> JDM me baby? <laughs> Chef J D R M E baby. He's famous. I was I was running the camera for him around town here recently, and people were like, "Hey, whoa!" They're like, "Hey, I know that guy." Is that CPA strength? No, I've you never bet. I've never been noticed yet. But what I got like thirty four k subscribers, so they're gonna start noticing someday, man. They're gonna notice. Yeah, I feel like you know you got professional editing look to it. Uh, I'm trying. I'm learning. This is this is the first podcast. So this is gonna be fun because this is my first podcast style ever and then you know we're gonna i'm gonna look at this when i'm like 500 deep and it's gonna be so cringe so we actually we should tell them about the summit we actually how oh, the youtube summit our love because we have a mutual love of youtube so yeah that was uh and this is all born out of that we have okay yeah Roberto the, blake yeah the first the first time i came and visited because we didn't uh we kind of did our own separate thing for a while it was i could just told you october of how many subbies would you say you had back then? Five thousand, six thousand. Oh, that first time I came. Yeah. Uh, less than 8, a thousand. Less, less than, than a thousand. thousand. Yeah. Okay, can, so when, the first we summit. Can, we can. You could look on the social blade. Okay, bring that up. Yeah, it'll tell you on the social blade. Bring that up. Give me my young Jamie. He's got to so, work. He's got to do double time. He's got to work and because we're not. The, we don't have an intern. Intern. It's Cody, DM these guys. Yeah. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> <laughs> run Cody. Oh yeah, he runs Cody's. So we that's over. Do you know Cody's? Uh, Should we tell him the Cody story? We got no, a lot of stories. I think the summit. I think the summit. We got we got to keep on task. Because this is how it started. That's John true. It's to, like an origin story. CPA strength came to visit. He had a, a a relatively new channel, and he he stayed in a hotel. He rented a hotel near the house, and we must have spent like eight hours straight just grinding, grinding. on YouTube like. Watching, commenting, learning, yeah, answering comments, and looking Roberto, up. I'd have to say Roberto Blake was my, you know, my inspiration. He was our he guy. Was, he was our guy. Yeah, Roberto Blake's great for uh, getting up a channel. Maybe we'll have we're, we're gonna try to have Roberto Blake on He's the just podcast a someday. Guys, just good people, you know. And yeah. and he and he and he has the golden rules: just keep making, keep making content, you know. Yeah. Do what you enjoy and keep keep creating. What's his catchphrase? Create something. Create awesome something today. awesome today. Yeah. So, independently, I discovered Roberto Blake, and I asked John, I said, hey, you know this guy on YouTube? He goes, you talking about Roberto Blake? <laughs> I said, yeah. yeah. He said, whoa. If you know Roberto <laughs> yeah, Blake. Yeah, I said, you're in, at this time, because RB has got about almost 300,000 subscribers now, but at that time, he had like 100, like 80,000. He was small, 60,000. Yeah, he just got the silver plaque, I think, and... Um, he was a real inspiration, so it was, it was nice to see somebody who started off small and just continuously grew their channel yeah. to a big size. And now I've seen CPA strength do it. Now he's up over thirty thousand subs. Yeah, I was like I was like, yo, you know Roberto Blake, you're in too deep, partner. You're <laughs> in too deep. Getting love from around the world. In too so deep. After we spent about three days just deep into YouTube, we feel like we, we decided that that was a summit. It was yep. it was the first summit. It was called the Grinding is Fun Summit. Um you I guess my daughter said Yeah, grinding. Lily Lily thought of that. She said grinding is fun, which <laughs> it is. She said, what are you guys doing? We said, we're grinding. She goes, grinding is fun. And that's how that, so that was the grinding is fun summit. And since then, we've had another summit or two. Some mini summits. They're not really annual. They're more like every six months. Yeah. We get together and. I remember last, just over the summer. Trying to crack the algorithm. Yeah, just over the summer, we were looking at uh, my subscribers. We're going out. Twenty-one thousand. We were waiting for twenty-one thousand, and it's like, 
Now I'm on uh, 34,000. We should have kept track of that on the wall, too. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. The PR wall. Right. Oh, so how many, what's my subscribers going? You pull up the social media? So right now, yeah, 33,327. Do you know where it says uh, lower, or you can do detailed stats? Mm-hmm. You hit that, and then go low on the thing, and it'll tell you, like, uh, total subs. Do you see what I'm saying? Daily see? subs gain? No, uh, go to, the go to the bottom. You're on the, um... Two-finger slide. Oh, it's an upside-down slide. Let's see, uh, uh... Here we go, look, total subscribers for CPA Strength. Here, we'll bring this up a little bit, but, uh... So, yeah, we can go on the first time... First time I came by, first time I came visit uh, Shine Dog here was 2015. It was 2015. Well, yeah. yeah. So I only had on uh, February 2016. I only had four. I had 420 subs. It does say 420. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Even we are cheat you out here, but it is. That's just how. That's just how things come about sometimes, right? When you're living right. So I had 420. So that first. That wasn't our first summit. That was the first time I came by, and I was telling them, "Oh, I have a YouTube channel," but I guess I had about 200 subs, so it really wasn't wow, nothing. Wow, that's amazing! I felt like you had. More so than then, that. so then, um, I believe the I came. Next visit was in April. April, we had. Yep, yeah, uh, May, because it was after it was after my first tax yes. season. Came back here. We had a crab boil with the in-laws and played rings. I got Roy. I got rookie of the year on the crab. Uh, the what do you call it? Rings. Yeah, ring, no, that's ring a great. Toss. That's a great game. I'll have to show you guys that sometime. I do have a ring toss box here. We can show them. So look, I came by. I came back uh, for that in May. I had a thousand subbies. May of 2016, I had a thousand subbies. So then, so then I came back in October. And when I came back in October, I had 4,000 subs, and that's when Shine Dog said, "Oh, wow, okay, I'm gonna start my own channel, get my own channel going up over here." Yeah, I see well, that. Well, actually, my daughter was a big fan of Ryan's. Ooh. Ryan's toy review. I'll show you the ring box. This is Rookie of the Year status for Doran here. You can explain to him. Uh, I kind of forget, but basically, three, basically, yeah, you got three CH team. Three rings. Three. You make it in the pipe, which is very nice for side betting. Uh, five points. Yeah, that's for the, a fiver. Three, three points for the box. And then closest anything, to outside. Closest to the outside gets a point. And these are like metal. These are just. These look like you get these at Home Depot. The metal it's a really washers. Cool that's game. what they feel like. Yeah, I love some, the game. Some people from Wisconsin showed us the game, and then we haven't stopped playing since. Yeah, I love the game. So beer, look, so good beer drinking game right there. So Everyone that, can play. So that's my summit. So that was our first summit um, about a year ago. I had four four point three thousand subbies. Um, I did come. Then uh, then in April, hey, Cody, you want a water? Yeah, All get right. Cody one. And Regina, look at my hair. It's a mess. I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> Regina is. Uh, Y'all know Regina don't really be coming around much. I really like the girl. I like her family. She's a family friend, but she might have to go. I'm just saying. Just saying. Um, so, yeah, this is the subbies. Then I came back probably after tax season um, of this year, 13,000. So, essentially, you blew up after the first summit. Yeah. First summit, I had uh, 4,000 4, subscribers, and one year, one year later... Um, I'm up to about nine times about, about 20, thirty thousand subs. So when did I start? I started going daily about. Uh, oh yeah, you went to daily. Yeah, I started going daily this or this summer. I had about seventeen thousand subscribers, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna really start putting a lot of effort and going daily, and that's when my channel did blow up. It's not doing too good because it's mainly an accounting channel. I love the AFBs because uh, yeah, I'm in business and sometimes the double entry accounting isn't isn't as obvious to most people. So right, I feel like you have a good way of explaining yeah the double entry accounting without making it too abstract. You know? Yeah, I th I I think I have a, DC I, Adler. I gotta say DC DC Adler. Adler Deb, what does no, it stand no. for? DC Adler. But what uh, what do they stand for? Uh, debits and credits. Debits and credits. Assets, draws. Inequity, asset draw expense, expense, 
And then what's under the other? Lure, lure liabilities, yeah. equity. Yeah. And R would be revenue. Yeah, yeah. Revenue. Revs. You gotta love the multiple revs. You gotta streams. love it. You gotta love the multiple revs. Um. Yeah. So DC Aler. Some of y'all know me for that. If you don't, I'm probably the secret. Yeah, it's the secret. That, that video has got almost 700,000 views right now. No, it does. It has almost, it has 750,000. It's going for a million. I tried to sit for the CPA exam by just watching the AFB series, but they wouldn't let me. Yeah, so. no, no, yeah, you need a bunch of credits and stuff. No, oh, you gotta go to college for that? Yeah, you gotta go to college, man. Yeah, you know, I wish they would just let you take the test. If you can pass it, you can pass it, right? Yeah. Wee's back. You might be wondering, look, did y'all know, uh, see, I am, I think, uh, one sixteenth Cherokee. And so... Established in 1738. Yeah, I just feel like, because I think I'm... The like German, but I don't really be identifying with the Germans too much because I just think of like Hitler and like uh, I guess yeah, I guess Germany's get a bad Germany got a bad rap. I guess they got good cars by their own in the autobahn know. by their own doings. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't I don't identify as anything. Actually, I just took we got the twenty three and Me pack. What's so, that? Uh, like a DNA testing kind of thing. Oh, okay. So we're gonna find out who's more Italian. Oh yes, we'll tell you. We'll tell you about that. Be hell, it's hilarious. That was Thanksgiving. Him and his wife. One of my wife was... thinks she's a hardcore Italian, and I feel like I'm more Italian than she is. So to settle the bet, we're gonna do DNA testing. I said, um, typical probably wife answer. What I say, mm -hmm. like who's well, how, uh, how how Italian do you think Larry is, or so, or you are? And she says, I don't know, more than him though. <laughs> <laughs> it more, doesn't matter, just more than more me. than him. So you don't know then? You think you're gonna be some Italian? Oh yeah, yeah. I got my grandpa and everybody from Italy. So I'm gonna say I'm probably my dad. My dad goes by the Italian stallion. What if you might be the more the Moors from Africa came up? We have some African. Yeah, you know, I'm probably. You never know. You never know. I'm, I'm a bit of everything, I imagine. I think if you go back far enough, we're probably all the same. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Everyone's. They said came from uh, Africa. Nobody's like 100% it's just, anything. It's just really where, sure. where where you live for the uh, the pigment in your skin. And now with all these. Now with, I guess, you know, people mi mixing ethnicities, I think maybe in a thousand years, everyone's just going to be. A co one color too, because everyone's gonna be mixing like yeah, in a couple would, thousand years. You would think there'd be consolidation, you know, like. But who knows? It might even take longer than uh -huh. that. But there's got to be some. There, I think there's some. There's We're, something to be said for variety. You know what I mean? If everyone was the same, then oh like, yeah, variety affected by the the same thing. Yeah. Whereas if there was some variety, it might help us in variety survival. Variety, spice of life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now. With this, I can. I know why. Well, I, I think, think we can. We can have differences, but still realize that we're the the same. You know. That well, makes, I should. That I makes mean, sense. Um, some people are just like if you don't look just like them and have the same beliefs, then then they don't like you. It's just those are. Yeah, that's probably know. just a philosophical view on life. You know. Yeah. Um, which. What do you think? What do you think about uh, people that aren't white? <laughs> what do you? I think? don't think about it. You know. What you I don't mean? think about yeah. it. That's but you have to see they're not white. You don't say, "Oh, they're they're different." No, no. I mean, I think maybe. So how would you how do you treat people of different? You know, anthropologists might say like people yeah. would be able to use. That's like a biological thing from way past that you would have a reaction because there's a difference between you and someone else. But I think we're beyond that. You know. Well, not everybody. Well, no, no. Beyond it is as far as survival instincts, you know, like you don't have to worry about getting attacked in, in the wild anymore, you know, from like a, neighbor, oh, a neighboring tribe. Yeah, like shit, you, shit's way different know, these days. Like when the Europeans got run over by Genghis Khan and them. Yeah, they, but I, wait, wait, let's go back to. They are got you fearful? You, you, of, you're just are you closet racist? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, um, uh, uh, because you're skirting the issue. No. How would you? How do you? To me, I don't know. I don't just don't think it's an issue, but I, I get you just it. Treat, I get you, that it is. You an treat. Issue. Uh, I just everyone. treat everyone the same, yeah, regardless okay. of what color. I do. I that's how um, I do. I do like. Um, no, I have to say, I'm a big fan. Like my my number one music genre is hip hop. You know, I mean, I I probably bought more hip hop albums than anything. So, I would say so that's that's mostly black. Yeah, you let's know just, I mean? let's just keep it. We keep it real on the Grind is Fun podcast because we don't give a fuck. Uh, yeah, I'm very, very open to everything. Yeah. And anything. My favorite author is Shakespeare. So, oh, okay. I feel like, 
You got some range there. I, I sent some bullshit on that one. No, 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 no. What book Shakespeare have you read? Bullshit! Romeo, Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> you read that whole thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Back in high school. I, you probably did too. You don't remember reading in high school? Lies. Hey. Lies. <laughs> Here's a quote from uh, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, give, what is it? What's in the name? A rose by any other name would still smell as sweet. Oh. And that's deep shit right there. I think bro. my panties Did just... you think about that for a long time? I think my panties just got wet off that. Is People... that possible? <laughs> <laughs> no. Not meant to be romantic in any way. That was not romantic. That's just oh. saying it doesn't matter who you are, what you are. Are you gonna ask or are you gonna ask how the I name treat... is just a name. You're, how you're, do you treat how me? do I treat people? How they treat me. Oh, the golden rule, treat people how you want to be treated? Yeah. My new my new thing is just be nice to everybody. Well, That's I feel like thing. I feel like there's a fine line because people nowadays with the internet age, they want their their anonymity and they they want to be left alone. They want to be douchebags on the internet in the comments. <laughs> well, in real life though, away from the keyboard, I feel like I just try and give people their space. And if they want to interact like, you know what I'm saying, if they want to interact with me, I'm cool with that. I have uh, my policy is you be cool, I be cool. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. you have you deal with uh a bunch of people on a daily basis at your Customer job. Customer bases, yeah, that are random. Customers, but also employees. Yes. Because you have like 30, 40 employees, right? They're all great. Oh, no, this guy's a baller. Yeah. Big baller. No, I'm just a, a, a modest worker ant. You're just trying to get it in? Yeah, I just like grinding, man. Yeah, I, I know. It's, to me, it's so what do you, So we, when I go to work, it's like, we do say it's grind, not work. We do say grinding is fun. That's the name of the podcast. And it's true, though. It's true. I see this guy works 24. These guys up at like crack of dawn before the crack of dawn yeah working his butt like off. i won't be, i won't be out work really uh I, although i say that from vacation from and two weeks it. two weeks two <laughs> weeks vacation i'm like i will not be out worked <laughs> i haven't worked in a couple of days oh but anyways and he uh, flexes a lot too he's not right, gonna look, be out flexed. show you guys look at that look at that shine, shine dog don't be hitting the weights yeah, not yeah i was gonna add that's that's why we started this well, up i asked you started it, the yeah. issue because one of my first subs was... This guy's a skirter. Skirt, skirt! The, uh, <laughs> the Muscle Masochist. I really love that channel. Just Oh, George Lehman. George Lehman. Just for the weightlifting. I love George aspect. Lehman. I don't know anything about him personally or anything. but I followed him. I just watched him pull I, up some massive I really, amount of weights and I thought, that is awesome. I really liked him and uh, what... Because uh, I didn't get YouTube. You his know. mindset. George right. Lehman's mindset. He would think about his, uh, his brother that died. His little like three-year-old brother and thought if he could lift this up then he could save his brother just these mental games he would play yeah he's 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 got a, a very strong will you can tell because he'll go right. from bulky to rip to but now uh, i was yeah you're right i was listening to a different podcast but as far as weightlifting goes that's one of that's that's really we started probably what middle school Oh yeah, we could, yeah yeah we were actually original lifting buddies. <sighs> this is my we? first. This is my first lifting partner. We started uh, after freshman year football, so we're talking what? Uh, I guess we were fourteen, maybe. For, yeah, whatever freshman year was. Mike Dow Ripple, what's up? YMCA, how at your boy? Shout out Mike Dow Ripple. Yeah, we started right a there. A true, a true weightlifting champ. He told us he got he got us on the five by five program. What did he say? He said he used to be a wrestler, and he was, un I'll never forget, he said he was undefeated list. Yes, undefeated list. I said, what the, f what the <laughs> frick is that, Mike? Like, what are you talking about? He, he said, was like a 40-year-old guy working at the Y. He said, I'm on, I never won. I never won a match. Undefeated list. So he was honest. And he did the 5x5. Five five. That's when we really started to get strong. So, we did these silly so we're you know, yeah, we're, sets, counts. What year? So we're talking 90, because we graduated high school in 95. So we're talking about 92, 91, 92. Yeah, 91. There was no, there was no internet. There was no YouTube. Like, how, if you're a high school kid, you don't know nothing. You might go in the gym and, 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 and try somebody. to do a couple bench sets. But you don't know sets and reps magazines and or maybe of, some mag yeah a couple magazines but that's like once a month and then those guys are just so big but uh so we were we we're kind of blessed that mike del ripple took us under his wing gave us a five by five he, he had us doing didn't did, didn't do deadlifts back in the day but i remember doing five by five of bench and a five by five of squats and we were getting strong we we're getting pretty strong our prs are going up for sure you know Oh, I know. It's, and, and this guy, and so if we're in high school, of course. So he was he was stronger then, and he could do the five sets of five reps with the with the uh, the Cadillac wheels, the forty fives. I could not though. I could only use the one uh, one fifteen. Do you remember this? Yeah, yeah, with, the thirty with the thirty five. So now, 
It's just weird. Now you're a little older, you'd say, because I was like, hey, we'll just put the 35s on, and then when it's your set, we'll add 10s to each side. But that doesn't look as impressive yeah. when you're in high school. Yeah. So you weren't having it. You were like, nah, they Jack, nah. Like I got to have them big 45s. But now now you're the giant super hoss. Yeah, and, now, and I just do the 130, 115. So the only bench press, he has to take the hit. I, I'm very weak, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't go for... Um, you're a great workout partner, though, I'll tell you, man. Yeah, like thank you. Oh, thank you. Because I would say it's it's all about high intensity training. It's all about high you know intensity. You hit the weight room. I and yeah, no, it is because I just worked out with with. Because uh, ultimately, you're by yourself when you're lifting weights, but when you have yeah. a good partner as a teammate, you you definitely can get more out of yourself. Yeah, I just worked yeah. out with Charbonneau up in Asheville, and it was awesome. What's up, Sharbs? I know you're watching. Yeah, shout outs. I want to say what up. Oh, you want to give shout outs? Sean Majeski, another super oh, workout hero from back oh, in the day. We just, we just. There wasn't many of them. We just Sean told. Majeski, yeah, oh, Sean, one. dude, Sean, we just told you about, like, because I'm trying to do these slow and sexy bench reps. You know, just <laughs> maybe touch the chest and bounce out. This kid was like what you didn't want to do. It would make an echo in the whole gym how fast he would bounce it on his chest. It would be oh, boom. And we're like, what? Are you, was, are you okay? He was super strong. He didn't have to do it, but I guess he did it. You know, not so the kids out there do not bounce the do ball. Do not bounce it. You want those slows. Slow, controlled, constant tension. Uh, constant tension. Constant tension. Cali Muscle in the new age. I've learned more from Cali Muscle. Do you? In a, in a, yeah. A, 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 six months. The only thing I, I really don't like about Cali is. Then no, he claims he claims I, I don't think he's natural, and he claims Which natural. Which is fine. Uh, well, I don't think he he doesn't look natural to me. I mean, it, right? He's especially not especially at like fifty. He's not natural, but he claims. Cali, he just yeah. Like, Cody, Cody, <laughs> get Cody. I I feel like and it doesn't. Can anybody do hair? My hair is just good. What should I do with my hair, you guys? I'm just getting long. Should I cut it at forty thousand subbies? See now, I'm the opposite. I have you no don't hair. have that problem. So I would say grow that. You'd say out. grow it. Let it let it flow. You know what? With let it grow. I never really thought the hair would be this much, but people love to love it or they hate it. It's I think it's mostly bald dudes that hate it. So you're not a <laughs> hater because you. <laughs> yeah. They're right. mostly like your hair sucks, <laughs> and uh, but so Me, that's I, how you can tell he's not a hater because he says grow it. Which, so. you know, and I, I feel like when I had to cut my hair, I didn't, I wasn't uh, beat up. You know, I've had friends who've had to go through We're going to need. And you just try and beat her. Is Jason, do you think Jason's going to watch this podcast? You Jason? just got to live it, man. You got to, what do they say? Embrace uh, it? Yeah, embrace it. Embrace the grind. ETG, that's all. <laughs> this all grind, grind, grinding is circular. What's right. he got in his hand? How hey, old is Cali Muscle? So Cali Muscle was born in Oakland, California in 1975. 1975. So he's a little older than us. So that's 42. two years old. Yeah, he's 42. 42 of that Cali Muscle. Bro. Got a lot of love for Cali Muscle. Um. Man. Now he's playing video games. My, he is on playing video games. My second love, Cali. Yeah, Cali <laughs> Muscle said he'll never go broke with the internet. The same as <laughs> same as JD Blaze, he pays uh, straight. I never going broke hey, with this internet. He's a grinder. Maybe we never. have to give Cali Muscle grinder of the month, the first grinder of the month. Actually, I want to say Roberto <sighs> Blake, Cali Muscle, PewDiePie are up. I love all watching all. So we're gonna have our are we gonna have our viewers tell us what they think. We're Who gonna give them a three, and they can they can comment down yeah, below. Yeah, maybe comment below. That'd be, Most that'd comments be cool. wins. Who do you who who do you feel is a, a a more important grinder to YouTube at this point? They don't Kelly. know. Oh yeah, was it Cali Muscle, Roberto Blake? Who was your or third PewDiePie. one? PewDiePie or PewDiePie? Do you guys even know any of those? Tell me what your favorite is. Tell us down below, please. That'll help us. That that's cool. Um, yeah, what else? So the grinding is fun. Oh, I know what I was wanting to say. I probably do have ADD because I jump around, but that's okay because if you listen enough, you get everything. But the grinding is fun because we really enjoy it. We enjoy the process. So you can ask some people when are they going to retire. And I think, uh, when do you plan on retiring, Shine Dog? Well, I guess if I had to put a number on I'd say 80. You know, but okay. I don't like look forward to retirement as like some cats do. I don't. Know. We just talk. I'm just gonna keep doing what. I'm gonna uh, keep grinding. I'm never retiring. Yeah, never. Like the old man from says uh, from uh, Pawn Stars. Yeah, the old man. Yeah, he says I retire the day after I die, which right makes a lot of sense. You know, because what are you gonna do? Stop working? You got no money? Well, you ain't if, making uh, no money. <laughs> if you do, if you're like, if you do what you love, like if you look forward to the grind, like. Um, 
I, like some work. somehow I finagled my life to where this actually is my work. Making like talking talking to you guys and uh, one of my friends or interviewing someone else. So it's like, what am I gonna stop doing this? I love this. So what am I gonna stop breathing? Yeah, and I I'm run, not retiring. And it's I think it's all mental. You know, I'm saying I've seen people hit the wall. You know, with yeah, any, any job. Every any job is a good job. You know, I hate when people say dead end job. Dead end job is one of my biggest pet peeves. Every job is a good job. You, you, this, yeah, every job is a good job. All jobs matter. And yeah, and listen, you guys, don't ever slack at your job because people will yeah. know. Like you got to be there anyways. And like as me as a business owner, YouTuber, it's CPA, life training, life training. If you're a winner, yeah. Like I was telling you before, like. Uh, if there's a bus boy that goes off at your restaurant, kills it, and I'm like a nor and I go there and eat two, three times a week, and I see this bus boy just killing it, and I got an op opening at my business or something like that, and and I think he'd be great because he kills it. Now that 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 kid's going somewhere, but don't if, be poaching, no, don't poach. No, don't. I won't. I know. It's gonna po I won't poach. Don't poach. Don't, don't be poaching. Don't come after my. People. I won't no. be coming after your good people. Uh, <laughs> but I'm just saying, if the if. If they get this shitty employee, he's not going nowhere. You just try to be the best wherever you're at, and that's that's and, and, that's how you go places. And that's a mental game, I think. You know, if you're a dishwasher or whatever, or a, a bus boy, it's all temporary. You just be the best you can be. You just be the best you can, and yeah. Mentally, you say, "All right, this is my job, and I got to do it." Yeah. You know, don't feel bad because you have a, a what you might or what people might think yeah. is a crappy job. I, Every job's a good job. And then one day you're gonna have the job you want and right. life's gonna be great and you just gotta keep working towards that. That's what I think. Yeah. Because I've had many jobs where my first job was washing dishes. Um, I worked did at you, UPS. Did you try to do good at it? Or did, 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 did I, you have I, that mindset? I'll be honest with you, I loved every job I ever had. So you always had that, I'm gonna try to be good at that? You know, and if I did, if I, the one job that I didn't excel at. See, see Shine, it gets yeah, uh, yeah. yellowish. I actually noticed that at the top. A little red. Yeah, yeah we going. We going. Yeah. Oh. So I would have to say every job I ever had, I, I I really liked, just because I was making money and I was learning and it was cool. I thought you said one. The one, the one job that I, I didn't care for that what, didn't last where, long. Where was that? It was telemarketing. Oh, I, cold, I had to like cold calls. Cold calls, but I was just giving stuff away, so I thought people wouldn't be so bad. They but. still didn't want it, huh? <laughs> so I the second day, I just I just abruptly. Oh, that was a two dayer. Day. The second day I walked out, like, and where, uh, shift. sorry, but it wasn't for me. Where was that? Was it in Florida? That was in Orlando. Here? I was in college. Oh, was in Orlando? Yeah, the college in Orlando. Oh, where'd you go? I know, but UCF. The... I'm, a, I'm a Golden Knight. You, no, University of Central Florida. Yeah. You know how we don't, we don't be liking uh, uh, abbreviations on this channel because no one knows what the heck Oh, the University of Central Florida, yep. Yeah. Um, what that abbreviation is, even though I say CPA, but. Computer, computer mm. engineering, so I'm a bit of a technical guy. Yeah. But um, yeah, you're pretty good with that. I, I do like business, so I, I I kind of this is back in late '90s. So what are some this what are some of your other favorite? What are some of, what are, what's a job that you really liked like back in the day? The UPS job I liked. Oh, I didn't know you did UPS. Yeah, I, in college I worked. It was like ten at night to three in the morning. Oh, where did you work at the plant? And yeah, the, where you move packages. Oh, like okay. A, a sorting place, I guess you could say. That was a good job. Because they paid well relative to like every other job back mm -hmm. then. It was five hours a night. You get your money, go home, go to bed. All right. So hey, so besides that two day two day job, um, the other ones you lasted for a while. Did you always have that like I'm gonna try to be the best, like the best UPX boss handler. I'm gonna be the best. This. I mean, I would try to be the best I could be because there was there was some good workers in there. Well, yeah, of course, yeah, the best. It's like you know, the best might you be could guys be better but, than you. But I, I, I just so kinda, you can't let that bother you. I just, I just had a total, uh, just slacky. I don't know, hippie. I don't know, just like a more relaxed uh, atmosphere. Like I didn't, I, I didn't want to work hard to be the best. Uh, which I just wanted to float through and really just get, I guess, really high and drunk. I wanted to be the best at being high. Like I wanted to be the most <laughs> drunk, most high person. Uh, but just float through everything else, which I see it, that was your motivation. It almost repulses me now because I, I I'm really uh, <clears throat> I really just try to be the best at everything. Like it, it's a challenge, and uh, I just <sighs> I don't know. Back then, I'd have to say my motivation was just not to not have money. Money, you know, when you're 
in high school because I want to say I got my first job when I was probably like 14. So you wanted money in your pocket. Yeah, I just because if say if you wanted something, you wanted to buy some baseball right. cards, you wanted to buy a video right. game, and you didn't have no money, my but, parents weren't giving me right. Any what I, yeah, I want to try to get out is. I guess what, so. We were saying that like a, a bus boy, like I see a bus boy doing really good job, really trying, and that that's I think that's an awesome. And then and then you you do that at your current job, like you try to be the best line cook when you're doing that that you can. Yeah. Did you, but did you have that same you did, did you have that same mind state on your first couple jobs? Like I'm gonna I'm gonna be the best because that's what like instead of being a slack yeah. ass motherfucker. Yeah, I would say even if you go back and ask all my boss in the past, I would. You know, they'd say I was a good employee. Now, you know, just because I was competitive, I guess, you know, maybe, maybe uh -huh. it's a competitive thing. You want to you wanna do a good job. You want to make sure we, you're... Yeah, which is crazy. I'm really competitive now, but... I had some difficult jobs now in construction. I would say now that, that, that stuff, it's it's harder to uh -huh. be the best because it, it's like the hours are long and weird, you know, early morning hours. Yeah. Like, like um, finishing drywall or, or being a mason's helper. You like that hands-on construction work? I do not. No. No. I do not. No. I kind of. I kind of. I kind of do. I like. Uh, I mean, I see, like it for like. A week. I like seeing something <laughs> I build. Yeah, for like a week. I like seeing something I build, and uh, then it's done, and it's like then it's done. I live in like a paperwork hell. You know, I do someone's tax return, they're happy, but then they have a question about something. A they very come back. intangible, unfinite world. I know. I yeah, it. it's like I'm never done with some. I do. I do one tax return, and then then they're calling me for my li for the rest of their life. But it's. I was I was there. For, uh, you were on vacation, and you were on a tax related phone call, and yesterday you, you st he dropped everything for his client. <laughs> so I'll have yeah, to he's, say, he's a he's my biggest client. So yeah, who me? No, the Actually, guy, the guy who I picked oh, his phone up called oh, okay, yesterday. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Friday, Friday, uh, day after Thanksgiving at one o'clock. Like I was like, well, I mean, I'm not like sitting at my desk right now. Like, can we do it Monday? Like, I just, I don't understand these people. Like, they think, and I think it's like, it's like you know, like a little kid. They think like a little kid thinks their teachers sleep at school. It's like because they can't put them as anything else. Like they're just a teacher. Like they don't have a regular life. That's how I feel these people do to me. They're like, oh, my accountant, he just sits, he just lives in his little apart, his little fucking uh, office. Like, he doesn't have friends or any any life. That's how I feel. But, anyways. Yeah, life's colliding, because now you really only need one phone, you know? Yeah, I only have one phone. But so. see, I did that to myself, because when I got these clients, I said, you can call me whenever. Um, but now I'm going to try to do different packages. I'm gonna do yeah. that. Remember we were talking about that the value the three packages for what what last night? Oh our YouTube studios when we're gonna have a a blossoming I'm I'm big on putting things out in the universe. So when this is blossoming, what is it? Lakeside Studios? Lakeside, Lakeside Studios Studio. Inc. That's gonna be the umbrella. And uh where you can you can record your it's basically a studio. Yeah, you, you can and use, you don't have to Right. So we're gonna have different different uh value yeah. points or whatever or how much they people pay. For our services. Oh, we picked up somebody else. Who's this guy? That is, I was in Jamaica actually, and they told me turtles are good luck, and uh, that's my daughter's turtle. Did she have this at breakfast this morning? I she remember she told me she wanted us to put it on the podcast. So oh, I don't remember that. Yesterday. Oh, okay, think, she so. came up with grinding is fun. Grinding is fun. She got this. What is the turtle's name? You know, I don't know. Jamaican turtle? Do you guys have a name for it? It's not from Jamaica. No, no, no. Oh. When I was in Jamaica, they... Oh, was, they told you turtles were good luck. To have babies and prosperity and oh. fortune. So, I'm a, I'm a bit of a turtle fan. Maybe I should have... I should have... When I moved here, my mom gave me a turtle and I, I haven't... I've kept it ever since. Yeah, I'm going to get that off there. Things are going well. So... Hey! I just added him to the podcast. That, that's yeah. Like Cheech and Well, Charlie. we had a good breakfast this morning, didn't we? Yeah, we've been taking uh, you to all the hot spots. Garden, gar was that garden? All our friends from Canada are in town now, so it's Snowbird cool. City. I don't, I don't know. I don't packed, mind. Them. I don't man, mind. It's packed, right? Uh, oh, oh, I'm wearing the Cuban breezes. This is I'm a sponsor because this is his restaurant. Sponsored, it's pretty good. The, the I get free food over there. Brought to you by. City and so Spain. I say I'm sponsored. I mean, I guess you get free food, you're sponsored. But where do we go no, for he breakfast pays, today? He pays. Um, we went to the <laughs> yeah, his partners. We went to the Garden Grill. Um, <laughs> this is a classic restaurant where you. Uh, I liked it. Our our wait our waitress was very. I think it's she was she had a lot of games played. All value and no frump. 
She don't know. Frump is frump for word. Frumpy? That means that's like Flo's butt or something. <laughs> uh, the I don't know why my Liberty, if you're watching this, yeah, she. Who else do I talk to? Hate Flo. Oh, Fisher hates Flo. What do you mean, Flo? The lady on the so on the commercial, the progressive commercial. Oh, the progressive commercial. No, I'm sorry, that's Tyson, Chris, Chris's dog, because he watches the commercials. Oh, what up, Sharbano? What up, Sharbs? Sharbs, 180. Turn your life around. We'll have to get Good you on the vibes. podcast. Good vibes. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Maybe be nice. Come check us out in Palm Harbor, bro. I mean, you're a good cameraman, LG, but Sharby's really is has got more skills. But I'm sorry to break it to you. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm just saying it to get you here, Sharbs. Um, but he said Tyson, his dog, his dog would watch the commercials, which was crazy. But he said he'd like flow would drive her nuts. Yeah. Tight would flow would dry, flow on the progressive commercials would drive Chris's dog Tyson nuts. I'll give Flo some credit. She has longevity. She's made she it, does. She's made it a long time. I'm waiting for her um, scandal to break out. Right. One of my one of my old friends, Liberty, she goes, I don't like Flo. She got a saggy butt. I'm like, she'd really be hating on Flo for some reason. Uh, I don't really know. I mean, it is kind of saggy. I I would everybody but she'd be wearing I, the, I would know in reference to her to She'd like, be wearing the mom pants though, but everyone would be wearing them, huh? You mean the, the 80s high. bongos? Oh god, it's like everything ridiculous. goes in circles because those were the mom pants from those acid washed mom the pants from the 80s. Waters, they, like, they're the um, bongos. If you're you can do bongo jeans, you'll see it'll probably be, if you like, Google search it, bongo, um, the bu- bongo the bongo mom for the jeans at their breastplate. It's just way too high. Everything coming in circles. But I remember when they had the low cut jeans when they like when everyone had a plumber crack, all the chicks had plumber cracks. I don't remember that. I, that was that was like probably ten or fifteen years ago. Okay. I remember like the, the jeans weren't that high up. They were. We got I like we got, them in the middle. We right? got yoga pants now. Shout out to whoever made up yoga pants. Shout out to them. Lululemon. Yeah, they're all oh, those are expensive as fuck. But a shout out to that style though. Yeah, yoga pants. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, I just don't see how any pair of pants couldn't be yoga. Pants. What about a tramp? What about a tramp stamp? What about if Fisher brings home a, a, a nice lady with a with a tramp stamp? I'm is, that, is that is that is that is that okay, off, man? That's okay. I'm not gonna. I like ladies with tramp stamp. I'm just saying. I feel like everyone. I I don't know if that's a good. Uh, I mean, a, what a thing to call it? It's just it's just a tattoo on your back. Yeah, I don't know how how much of a a tramp indicator da- it is. You know, I would say how big are their hoops and their earrings would probably tell you more than bigger the hoop, bigger the hoe. Bigger the problems, I think. Bigger the problems? Yeah, yeah. I always heard it was bigger, bigger the hoop. baggage. Big, bigger the hoop, bigger the hoe. But, but uh, uh, yeah, tramp stamp, you know, those are fine. Tattoos are good. Just, I, I feel like it's, it's uh, you know, it, it's always bad to, like, hold something against someone. Oh, yeah, I just do it for fun. Oh, I see, I see. You're, you're in, I get it, I get it. All right, I thought you were. We we started the podcast. I'm not, I'm not racist, racist or prejudiced. No, but I just she, like no, to. My uh, son brought home a, a, a uh, trapper with face tats. A trapper with face tats? Yeah. What so do you want to tell the, trapper? want to tell the viewers what you call trappers? Well, a trapper is. Yeah, what's, is, is what's now, a shine dog now, definition? Don't of? get this the wrong way. I'm, I'm not misogynist. I have Okay. But, um. I used to say jokingly, we used to say trick. Okay. You know? And then I got in trouble for saying that. So I, but I was in the habit of saying it. So I'd say right. trick. Yeah, trick. So trick, trick, trick changed to trapper, trapper, which is kind of ambiguous. You know, how could you get mad about that? I like that trapper? because that's that's what you call uh, the, the dope boys, the trappers and stuff, the trap house. Meet me at the trap house, the trappers, and it's like, and it's like those ladies might do be setting traps. So set, they be setting booby traps and stuff. And they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna get him for no reason at all, except for it started with a T and an R." Trapper, okay. the new, the new that's trick. What, that's what so, we call our thoughts. There's yeah. trappers in Thoughtville. There's also <laughs> thoughts in Thoughtville. Trapper can be any female though, as well. I know you guys know what thoughts are. That hoe over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's I, him. I, that's him, ladies. I, not me. Here. Or anyways. Which the technology helps bring people together. It's a great. Yeah, it really does bring people together. Like back in the day, it was. I think right. it was probably way harder to meet meet people than it is now. You know. Oh, oh yeah. Like, um, what do you mean, anybody? Like random new people, because you have you have you're a certain type. You're a certain type of person, right? Sure. So it's hard for you to find somebody who's like you yeah. randomly in in a population. Yeah. Well, whereas if people who have similar interests, that's yeah, that's you know, are that's what exactly what I was gonna say. Can like, find each other 
with technology. Yes. Yeah. Like, uh, like maybe you're. So you, I think you have a much better chance of finding your match nowadays than in the past. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Because back in the fifties, bro, it was, you a crap to, it was just who lives in your little town. You who lives in your little town or whatever? Yeah. But now you got the whole world. In the whole oh, world, yeah. For right. for for finding you your soulmate. That? Hopefully, I have one out there. JDM me, uh, ladies. The global podcast. You will not be in Thoughtville. Just <laughs> joking. Maybe you will. Maybe you want to be. I don't know. Do you want to be in Thoughtville? I'll put you in there. JDM him, please. I'll put you. I'll put you in there. Uh, but no, I was thinking like Maybe if you can get on the podcast, you can get on the podcast. Uh, free. Say why he is uh, right or wrong. That's true. I was thinking like say you say you like archery or something, or a small niche something, archery, and then. Uh, before the internet, it would just be like maybe there might not even be an archery place for miles and miles and miles around, and no one you know likes archery. But you can go on, you can Google search and get on the internet, and then you can have there's probably you know forums, and you'll find you know the thousand people, people in the world area, yeah. that love archery, like or or what a good example would be tennis, like finding tennis matches in your in your neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, same show. Awesome. You know, they have websites where you can join and you get like 12 matches a season or mm -hmm. something. Or powerlifting even. I, I, I don't know why I didn't think... Why I, Four I, year old powerlifting competitions here coming up. What, what's yeah. the plan? Why don't you tell them what you're going to do for... Uh... For powerlifting? I, I don't know why I came up with archery instead of I'm a powerlifter. <laughs> because that really powerlifting started blowing up once the, once the internet <laughs> came around and, and YouTube's. And you could uh, see back in the day, ones. no one did it. Everyone just bench pressed. I think bench and squat. We didn't. Squat. We, didn't, we, we didn't get a lot of squatters or a lot of deadlifters. Well, you still don't get a lot of squatters now. We were actually doing it. People were power cleaning back then. There's no one squats. No now. one does that shit anymore. Uh, people love deadlifting because that's pretty. Nowadays, you get high totals. It's probably your highest total, right? Oh, that's the highest lift usually the deadlifting. But I just mean at gyms. Uh, like back back in high school, and we never deadlifted, and it wasn't big. I deadlifted. Oh, okay, I never did. I think did. deadlift helps helps increase your squat max. It does, and so vice I versa. I deadlifted for sure. I it does, and vice versa. It really does. But let me ask you, what do you think if you did a three lift total now? What would your total be? It just. Oh, okay, that's a good one. Um, what would my three lift total be? Three. Oh, two. that's the battery. I don't know if I have the other battery charged up. How much time? Oh, uh, do I don't know. Like fucking like five minutes. So, we, well, um, so if you do a competition, like when just this off goes, the top of your head, yeah, when this goes out, this is it, guys. Sorry, battery's dying. So we're gonna get. To so it. our first one's gonna be like fifty minutes, not an hour, or whatever. What um, what do you what do you think off the top of your head? What would you? What okay, would so, uh, I'll uh, powerlifting a competition is you start off with squat, then bench, then deadlift. So, shout get, out Smelly Bell. What you up? get three. Uh, yeah, you get three. Auto three focus. lifts. You get to do three attempts on squad. Three attempts. AF. Oh yeah, we could take the AF off. I hate the. I hate that. I want the MF because we don't like the auto. But anyways, so what? Let's what? What squat? Um, now I don't train for. Do I have three months to train? To get just, my lifts up, or just, just now, today? Like now, today. What comfortably? Not not pushing yourself to that. Just what would you? Could you squat? It I could. I could squat probably. Uh, yeah, three fifty four hundred. I'm. Okay. I'm gonna say squat four hundred. All right, four hundred. Um, bench three hundred, and deadlift, uh, deadlift uh, four fifty probably. So so what's that? Eleven fifty. Uh, yeah, I would love to be fifth. A fifteen hundred. 1500 total would be now that's the next question what would make you competitive in one of these things? oh competitive because i weigh so much i uh, like i would pretty much have to do steroids do they know I how think. big you are uh well big. i flex for them but i <laughs> know monstrous uh well i'm six six three what two two probably 60 right now 270 i haven't weighed myself like nfl looking ish people kind of yeah i used to be like 310 but y'all know some of that um I would like to get to 1500. I wouldn't be competitive. Let's see if I could get down to maybe 40 years old. Oh, my age. Yeah, my age helps me out. Uh, oh, I have a plan for that. I'm trying to knock. I'm trying. I've already been lifting for uh, almost five years, but I've been doing this thing sub maximal training where I've been going light and just getting nice reps and not getting injured. So I want to be able to. I want to do that for like ten more years. So then when I'm fifty, 
Okay, that's... I might, uh, then I'll be like the strongest 50 year old like the world might have ever seen. Cause it'll be 15 years of straight lifting. That's the long game. That's the chess. And, and that's the chess game. All natural too. I must all say. natural, yeah. Cause y'all know I had problems with, with drugs. And what got me away from the drugs was the lifting. And I don't want to just. And I like how I'm away from the drugs right now. And it just seems like, I I think lifting as as getting me healthier. And so why am I going to just start doing a bunch of fucking steroids that are going to kill me? Like, I might as well just stay doing meth and heroin. Like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and you're, like, you're and just, you're, I'm just trading one drug that's killing me for another one. And you're, <laughs> and you're pretty strong without it. So right. No need to. And, and I don't need to. Yeah, I'm feeling real good. Uh, 1,500 at 240 or 50 pounds. Oh, maybe my age it might be competitive. That seems like a lot of weight. It is what 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 I think what I that would have to be a because three fifty I think is the max bench press. Mm. Uh, my bench maybe it's my longer arms. My bench what is do you pretty think weak. You bench two, Over right now. No, no. Max, if you train for it. Oh, four. I get up to four. Uh, what I what I want to get is a five hundred squat, four hundred bench, and a six hundred dead. A four, five, six. Yeah, there you go. Fifteen. And that's fifteen hundred. So that, that's what. That I, would be real strong. <laughs> Well, I'm uh, here the strongest CPA in Florida. Right. Here's what I was uh Is there any stronger CPAs out there? Come no on one's ever no one's ever said I know a CPA Share this that video. No one's ever said I have a CPA Please, that's like stronger than you. Let, let us know what you think of the podcast. Yeah, drop a comment. You know subscribe how subscribe to CPA Strength. These subscribe great, if you're not already subscribed yet. Great channel, great videos. Great Thanks, content. buddy. I agree too. This is yeah, this is one of my biggest subscribers. Biggest uh, supporters in real life, and who all? Who all? I have so many supporters now, but definitely yeah, it's just good people that we meet. You know, definitely uh, from definitely Shine Dog. Stay positive. Stay grinding. Definitely um, a one eighty, Chris. Def Shout out to Tommy Swish. Ta definitely oh, Tommy. Tommy. Definitely Tommy's, but dude did some Let's mukbangs see some more with mukbangs me. Mukbangs with Tommy, man. Yeah. He's the real G right there. We gotta um, get him on the podcast. Tommy okay. Swish, you. Uh, P uh, Pee Wee, Pee Wee's a supporter. Pee Wee's been on here. I got so many supporters, man. So it's a, it's a blessing. Um, yeah, I, I want. I I have visions of and possibly... even the folks around the world, right? You said uh, I mentioned you mentioned the whole world, in Australia. yeah. Uh, oh yeah, John Gideon. He he might even be watching. He might watch this podcast. I don't know from Melbourne, Australia. Yeah, that's crazy. He it watches because right? I yeah, it blows my mind too. Because I post I post at a see. So you can find like minded people in all Australia, over the world. Over yeah, the world now, yeah, know? it is crazy. Uh, since I've been doing the daily videos, eight a.m. Yeah, I got a little community over here on the CPA Strength channel. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. Um. Now, I don't know how much longer... Did I pose this question to you? Uh, I, th I said it in a different video, but I must get told in comments, uh, God bless you, bless you, like, uh, for the past two years, uh, maybe like a thousand, two thousand times total. I wonder if... It's a all, real feel all those All those blessings got to me or something, because I feel really... Yep, so I had the other battery. So, oh, so I want to finish that thought up. I wonder if... Like, somehow, because everything's just kind of energy, you die and it gets, gets converted to something else. And it's like maybe all people typing those things and thinking those things, it, it, it kind of... That's an interesting thought. It like gets electrically converted to, to me or something, but uh, that it, it's... Um, yeah, I could see if there were, there's that connection. That'd be it's just something. Awesome. I have all these people telling me... Um, blessings like they say always oh, say oh it's, it's gonna probably just micro impact this one you. this i'm on vacation so this camera system's bad so we're gonna wrap this up this was our first podcast this was a lot of fun wasn't it yeah had a great time man. yeah we're gonna just get better and better so if you haven't uh if you want to us to talk about something uh definitely leave a comment below because you know cpa strength reads all his comments answers all his comments sees all comments loves all comments <laughs> so yeah, leave a comment, uh, see what...
Dirty G, aka Shine Dog. Are you gonna be down there in the comments? Um, I will. I, I will be enjoying the comments that people share. Yeah, it'd be cool, man. Oh, okay, yeah. If yeah, you I'll, I'll, I'll definitely reply. Yeah, because you'll reply. reply. You're. you're uh, who are you now on the YouTube's uh, Shine Dirty, Dog? Dirty G. Dude, oh, you're Dirty G. He's yeah, yeah. embracing it. We'll talk about that in the Dirty, different podcast. Dirty G's back in effect, Doug. So yeah, we're gonna try to. Eventually, we're gonna do. I don't like to tell what we eventually are gonna, gonna do. If we're yeah, not I think now. all those blessings though are, are very. What do you imp think? Impactful for you, you know. I can tell you, uh, they definitely, maybe they add up. I guess, the Thousands uh, of blessings from you know, all you these know, people from all around. Because I asked right. you one time, I said, who is this cat? Is it someone in your family? Yeah. And you're like, no, it's some guy from Indiana. I mean, him, we're really good friends. And I thought, well, that's cool, man. Uh, you got oh, the guy from Michigan? Michigan reality? Right, right. Reality is yes, comedy? Yes, that guy. You're a cool ass dude, man. Yeah. What's your Oh, what, no cussing. Was it, sorry. We could, well, I already cussed a couple times. What's his name? Right. Randy, I think. Right. He lives in Michigan, though, not in Indiana. All right, Michigan. What, yeah. I'm not good with the DJ. He always tells me, God bless me. He's so. way, way better with DJ. Yeah, he's a, really, he's a really cool guy. I've met so many cool people on, on just from doing my little channel. I never imagined that I would meet so many people and get so much positivity. Because you always hear horror stories on the YouTubes. But it's been a blessing for me. 30k and nothing but yeah we gotta wrap we gotta wrap this up all, all right. right god bless y'all man all right yeah god bless you guys have a great time till next time we love doing these and uh what deuce deuces deuces, deuces. <laughs> we out <laughs>